Hello, so here we're gonna create a recipe app with categories so you can search for instance just for cheese or pasta and find all recipes which have that as one of its ingredients. So to do that we start with the back end, we create a new data type called recipe. Each recipe might have a title which is a type text and it may also have a description which is again a text and then what you can also do is create a category as there's going to be lots of categories and each category has a name like or ingredient it can also be like cheese meat vegan etc and then going back to recipe what we can now do what we could not do before is we can give each list of categories each recipe a list of categories so select a category new option now available and list of categories and it's a list okay and now what we want is we want to create inputs to be able to create recipes so enter recipe name then a multi-line input which um, enter uh, recipe steps and then what i have uh, done is i've downloaded the multi-select drop down by bubble it's free i can now use that to select multiple categories to add to my recipe. So I go on dynamic, as I want to use something from the database, I want to take categories, and I just want to take all categories I can find in the database using do a search for, and I want to show the current options text. Okay, and then we want a create button. And when we click the create button, we create a new recipe, which has as its description the multi-line inputs value as its list of categories. We set a list, that's the whole list. We don't just want to add one thing, but we want to set the whole list. And we take the multi drop-down value, and the title is the input enter recipe names value and then we can reset the relevant inputs okay and then you may notice as we only just created categories none exist yet so uh, we want to just be able to create some categories over here all we are doing is when we click the add button we're creating a new category with the text of the input And that's it and then we want to be able to search through all the recipes kind of like a google search i guess and what we do here is we just do a recipe and we want an input where we enter our search so first it can show all recipes and then when the input is not empty then we wanted to actually use the input as a search so we change the data source and we search for our recipe and it, this is a complex search so what we need is actually filtered and then advanced so we click search for recipes we added filtered and then advanced and then this recipe is a list of categories, the text of that. So for example, one recipe can have as its categories, meat, cheese, and pasta. So if you take those texts, then they should contain what's in the input C's value. Okay. And then the repeating group is currently empty. We actually wanted to show something, so we add text elements to it to show the recipe title and description okay and that should be it let's have a try add lasagna okay we first have to add categories such as cheese meat, pasta, tomatoes, and then um, use an oven for those who don't know. 
Okay, now in this multi select drop down, I can add cheese, meat, pasta, tomatoes, and I can create the recipe. We can see it over here. You can also have pizza and uh, like a pizza hut. And in this case, we don't have meat, but all the other ones. And then another one would be spaghetti vegan. So, actually, yummy. At least that's what vegans will let you believe. Then we have pasta and tomatoes. Okay, and then what we can do, as soon as we type something here, it only finds lasagna. If we have cheese, it finds all with cheese. And what else we have? Tomatoes, it should also find all. Okay, what else did we have? Pasta, it should only find... Did all of them have pasta? Is that my mistake? That pizza has pasta? Yes, I gave pizza pasta because my Italian knowledge is really limited when I'm thinking fast. But uh, I hope you got the idea. So we just created recipes, then we created categories. And when we created a recipe, we gave it a list of categories. The list we could select using this multi-select drop-down plugin. And then we had a repeating group of recipes which searched for all recipes. But if the search input was uh, not empty, it would only search for recipes whose category actually included the, uh, the inputs value. So recipes, list of categories, text contains inputs, use value. Hope this helped. For short tips on bubblecheck, tipplister.com, link below. Cheers.